No fucking way. You know, I kept hearing rumors that Robert De Niro, aka Bobby D, aka Young Don Corleone, was gonna be tied to this movie somehow. I just thought they meant as like a producer. He's actually in the fucking movie. I'm gonna like this movie now. Robert De Niro is one of the best fucking actors alive, and he's also one of my favorites. But I know, I know this is like a review on the fucking trailer itself. But come on, when I saw the title, I'm like, no fucking way. And when I saw him as a, I think he's a game show host or a TV show host, I'm like, holy fuck, he's actually in this. And of course, it, it didn't surprise me. After all, Martin Scorsese, I think, is a producer of the movie, so he always works with Bobby D. I should have seen this coming, but I didn't. Especially now that uh, they're working together on another movie called The Irishman, which is going to premiere, weirdly enough, in theaters before on Netflix. Kind of like they did with Mowgli. You know how there was like a fucking previews and shit for theaters, but then it came out on Netflix? Like, I'm pretty sure they're going to do that again. But let's talk about Joker. We got like an, uh, a better view, uh, inside look on um, with Arthur Curry or whatever his fucking name is on at, at Joker's life before he becomes insane. I think I told George that. I'm pretty sure his mom is going to die. And based on the fucking video and the scenes that we see, she dies. And I'm pretty sure that's what drives him over the edge. But we're going to have to see this October. There's actually a lot of uh, like Easter eggs and hidden meanings or messages that George told me about. Um, if he was here, I'm pretty sure he'd explain it because he knows more about Batman than any other superhero than I do. So, sorry. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm pumped up for this movie. I gotta be honest. Uh, I was a little iffy when it was announced that they're gonna make a Joker solo movie. Uh, but then my hopes were raised when I heard that Mark Scorsese is going to be involved. I'm like, alright, he's never done a bad movie. I'm pretty sure his uh, repertoire won't be ruined. So, yeah, maybe it might be good. Then I heard that Joaquin Phoenix is going to be in it. I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't know. Because for the longest time, everyone thought it was going to be uh, Leo DiCaprio. Because I'm pretty sure he's still young enough to play a youngish Joker and I'm pretty sure he can go fucking crazy enough to play Joker but it was way out of left field when we heard that Joaquin Phoenix was going to play him but then we saw the teasers, the leaked images and it kind of went down I'm like oh that's how, that's how they're going to fucking do him but uh, the first teaser came out and holy shit does it look dark and awesome and now this one and it, they're they're back up again and I don't know, it says final trailer, but I have a hunch that we might get a couple of TV spots. Hopefully, they might show us a little more. But, if they do, just don't give away the best scenes. All in all, I'll give the video, the, the trailer itself is actually pretty good. It shows us how he's going through a roller coaster of emotions. And how it ultimately leads him into insanity. Causing him to turn into the Joker. But, um... My question is, are we going to see, like, uh, Batman at the end of the movie or or their rendition of Batman since it's not really connected to the DCEU? I don't know, but uh, we're going to have to see when it comes out. And uh, that's all I got to say about this. That's my thoughts on, on the tr Joker trailer. And, uh, yeah, let me, folks, let me know what you think about this and uh, let me know in the comments below. And with all that being said, I hope you folks like, comment, and sub, and see you later.